Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at the select function from nSolve. So we've already had a look at the N suite of tools, there's a link to the playlist for nSolve which includes this in the description, and what I want to do is start going through some of the nSolve standard tools which we can find on this vertical set of tools. I'm just going to hold down S to scale that up so we can see them a bit more easily. Following a request, I'm going to do these one video at a time for each of these different tools. They're going to be much shorter than having one large video, and it means that it should be easier for people to search up the function they're looking for. If that's something you don't like the sound of, don't worry, I'm going to be combining these together into one long video, which is going to have everything in it as well. So whatever you prefer, you get the thing that's going to work for you. But if you are impatient, these videos are all going to be available on the Patreon because the Patreon's a week ahead of time from YouTube. You also get these videos ad-free and other great perks, so feel free to check that out if you really don't want to wait. So we'll do these in order, and the Select tool is the first that we're going to talk about. And this is a relatively simple tool to use, or at least on the surface. You just select it, click drag, and you've selected a load of vertices. And if you go into X-ray mode with Shift and Z, it will select vertices through the object. Nice and easy but it is a little bit more complex than this. So let's come into front view and talk about what this can do. I'm gonna start by selecting here, and then we'll press D to bring up my helper menu. So this basically sets up what nSolve is gonna do. You might have this looking like this, and you've got all the different modes that you can go into. We're in the nSolve mode here, and I have nSuite showing as well, because I like to have both tool sets visible at the same time. I'm gonna click here to go into nSolve, and here we can select what all of our different buttons do. The standard left mouse, shift, control, and alt. I'm going to do a separate video talking about this setup and how we can use this to create a set of tools that works in the way we want. But I'll do that towards the end of this video series. So at the moment we've got the left mouse button set to select. We can change it and you'll notice it changes it on this side as well. You don't have to go into the menu for this, you can just do it here. So you can access it both ways. But whenever we're in a specific tool, the helper menu will tell us what mode it's in if there's several options of what we can do. And at the moment it's set to set. But I can change this to add. And what that's going to mean is now each time I click, I'm just going to click and add more vertices to the selection we've already got. But as opposed to standard Blender where we have to hold down shift to do this, we don't need to. It's just going to do it as we go. So if you don't want to constantly hold down that shift button for some complex set of vertices, edges or faces to select, this might be really nice. You've also got the option to subtract, so we can come in here and just take off some of these vertices if we don't want them. Again, without holding down any keyboard buttons. And finally, we have a really nice method which is intercept. Now this works like the intersection boolean, so for example, say I want to select this middle group of vertices here, but I want to keep the vertices here and here unselected, what I could do is use this intersection and basically just go here and what it will do is keep the vertices that are already selected, but deselect any of the ones that aren't in this grid. So quite a useful function here. Now I do want to highlight that if we go into standard Blender, we can do this anyway. I'm not saying that this is a groundbreaking tool. So for example, if I hold down there and then hold down shift and then select those I can do. And if I hold down control, I can also deselect our different vertices as well. And then finally to do the intersection, we hold down control shift and select in the same way. So this isn't groundbreaking, but if you do want something where you don't have to keep holding down multiple keys, you just press D and select which one you want, then that's great. I think it'd be really cool if you could click and hold down here on the select option and it would give you the options there so you don't have to keep going into that help menu, but that's the way it is. I also wanted to mention that if you want to stay in nSolve, for example here I can't use the shift button because at the moment if I hold down shift it's creating a join function because we've got it set to join. If I change these all to select then effectively we'll have that same functionality. So click, shift, click and there we'll add it, control click will subtract and here alt will then do the intersection selection. So we can do that if we want to, and as I said, this might be useful to set up as a persona. And again, we'll talk about personas in a separate video. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And once again, if you do want those videos ahead of time, you can join the Patreon for a couple of dollars a month, giving you these videos a week early, ad-free, and also access to the channel Discord. Have a great day, guys.